Hello, and welcome back to the Calm and Connected podcast. I'm your host, Janine Halloran, and I wanted to explore some different sort of gifts that would be helpful for kids in terms of building their social and emotional strengths. So it's holiday time, and so I've been doing a lot of holiday shopping, and I've gotten a stack of catalogs, no kidding, in the mail. I feel like I get a new one every single day, and I really enjoy going through the catalogs and looking for different toys and games and activities for kids to play. Um, Back in January of this year, I actually did a podcast about open-ended toys that would be great for holiday gifts, so I'll link to that in the show notes. But I wanted to really focus this episode on gifts that really improve or focus on a child's social and emotional development. I'm going to start with one of my favorites. One of the best board game creators I know is Peaceable Kingdom. I absolutely love every single game I've ever played from them. And I love the games because they are all cooperative. You all have to work together. It's all about cooperation and figuring out, you know, how you can each contribute to making the game go well, how you can all contribute to make you so you can win the game, which is what I love about Peaceable Kingdom games. It's really focused on helping kids build those strategies and those skills of working together in cooperation. So I recommend it a lot for younger families who have siblings of different ages, so trying to get them to work together and do something kind of fun. I also use them in therapy. So I've played Gnomes at Night, Hoot Owl Hoot. Those are a couple of my favorites. Um, Space Escape, which used to be Mole Rats in Space. And so many things that are out there, Friends and Neighbors, so many different games that are out there that I think are phenomenal. So I would definitely check out Peaceable Kingdom. I'm pretty sure now they're part of Mindware. So if you go to the Mindware website or if you just Google Peaceable Kingdom, they also are available on Amazon. So um, I love those games. So just take a peek. Uh, They have different age ranges too. So they have games for younger kids, just learning how to play board games, and then older kids who need a little bit more challenge, a little bit more stimulation in terms of, you know, the gameplay that's involved. So a little bit more thinking and strategizing, especially around um, working together as a group. So definitely recommend and look at Peaceable Kingdom games. The school counselor in me loves the um, let's talk conversation starters. So, you know, one of the things that I absolutely very much enjoyed about being a school counselor was having lunch groups and getting a chance to talk with the kids in lunch group and see what they have to say and, you know, having those conversations. So the let's talk conversation starters are a great way to start those conversations around the dinner table or at school, or, you know, even if you're remotely doing Zoom or remotely doing um, lunch groups or bunch lunch bunches or social skills groups, it might be a great way to just spark a conversation, work on practicing those social skills that you need also when you're doing virtual work. You know, there's still ver- there's still social skills that need to be worked on. It just is a little bit different. You have to work on the, you know, what's the Zoom etiquette? What is the, you know, what's the proper way to um, be able to enter a conversation, to say your piece, to make sure that people know that you need, that you want, you have something to say. So that's why I would absolutely look at the Let's Talk Conversation Starters because it's a great way to sort of get spark those conversations that's what I I love to be able to do spark conversations among families and make helping them make connections and spark conversations among groups of kids to help them connect with each other too especially when we're so socially distanced right now a third thing that I always um really enjoy looking at in catalogs and sort of want um, are tents or forts. So there's lots of fort building kits. There's lots of like different tents that are out there. And I love that because it's so, it's such an open-ended creative gift and it can be so many things to a kid. You give it to a child, you give them a tent or you have them create a fort and suddenly it becomes a rocket ship or it becomes a boat or it becomes a space station or it becomes a camp 
campsite. So there's all sorts of different ways that kids can play. It really encourages that creativity, helping them use their imagination. The other thing I like about forts or tents is that it's a great starting place for creating a calm down spot or creating a calm down corner in your home or at school, you know, having a tent where you can still see inside, um, you know, when you are not having to, you know, manage all of the <laughs> sanitizing. I'm thinking about post-COVID there. Um, but at home, it's definitely something that you can do um, right now and setting up a calm down space or a calm down corner for kids because it they're, I'm sure, feeling very stressed, very anxious and tired. It's fatiguing to live this way. And so to be able to help them build on their strategies, build on their coping skills and encourage their creativity and fun at the same time, I think it's a great gift to be able to give to kids so they can use it in a way that is creative and imaginative or they can use it as a way to help themselves calm down. A fourth thing that I think is fantastic to buy for kids at this time of year is anything that encourages socio-dramatic play, imaginative play, pretend play. So things that are dress up, um, a doctor's kit, a vet clinic, um, anything that has to do with a store, anything that has to do with a, you know, a kitchen set. All of those things are really great for kids in terms of being able to have them have some open-ended time to play. But the fantastic news about open-ended play is that it helps kids learn self-regulation skills. It helps kids learn how to manage themselves. It helps kids learn how to cooperate, how to work together, how to you know, compromise. When everybody wants to use the microwave in the kitchen area, what do you do? How do you manage that? How are the how do you figure out who gets a turn to do what? And the way that you do that is by encouraging play, by encouraging them and allowing them that space and time and the material so that they can build and create and just let their imaginations run wild and see where it goes with it. My kids spent a ton of time in their play kitchen and they would also you know, copy what my husband and I would do. So they would always be warming up their coffee because that's what I would do every day, still do it. Um, And so it was really cute to see that they pick up on those things and they learn how to interact with each other. They learn how to compromise and work together. So I would, you know, anytime you see any sort of open-ended dress up, Um, anything that has to do with um, different jobs that kids can get as they get older, I would see if that's something that you're interested in. Melissa and Doug have a great line of stuff um, that is fantastic for um, pretend play and imaginative play and dress up play. And then finally, I want to talk about the Big Life Journal. I'm really excited to share this resource with you because I think it's so phenomenal in terms of helping kids build resilience, build grit, be able to have more confidence in themselves, and be able to just understand themselves a little bit more. So there's tons of journals on the Big Life Journal website. Um, They have journals for younger kids, and then they have journals for teens as well. So you can take a peek around and see what works best for the age child that you have. And then they also have, you know, great um, positive motivational quotes up there, great other resources that are available up there as well. So I definitely check out the Big Life Journal and see what sort of resources might work best for you and your child. Like I said, I um, also have a podcast all about open-ended toys as well. So if you're looking for more, you know, building toys, other things that might be good to um, round out a holiday shopping list, I will link to that in the show notes for you. If you have any ideas about social and emotional gifts that would be great for kids, let me know. Feel free to email me at calm at janinehalloran.com. If you like this podcast, Take a moment and share it or rate it and review us wherever you listen. Please don't forget about yourself. This is a hard time of year and a year that has already been so challenging. So please take a few minutes, have a little fun, and have an awesome day.